These are some chairs, some dining room. Well, I'm using them in my dining room. These are some chairs that I picked up at the Habitat for Humanity store. Six chairs, six armchairs that will be getting reupholstered and I'm gonna repaint the wood or restain it one or the other and again reupholstered as well and these will be in our dining room and I'm gonna redo our dining room table too I just want the table to be lighter and I'm gonna make these chairs match the first thing I did was flip the chair over and take all the screws out of the bottom these were all holding in the different um, pieces that needed to be recovered And then the pieces came out very easily, the bottom first, then the sides, and then the back of it. This is how the chair looked with all the pieces removed. And then I went straight into sanding it down. This process took a while. Uh, uh, managed to get it done for all six chairs, of course. Um, I did this over the course of a few months. And then I used a whitewash stain for the first layer because I wanted it to really soak into the wood. And then I covered that with a white chalk paint. And then I did a final seal of polyurethane, about two or three coats of that. And then this is how the chair looked with those layers on. And then I cut the pieces for what would be um, covering with the fabric. I have this huge piece for the bottom. I have two pieces for each of the arms and then these two pieces which would cover the front and back of the back part. Use the spray adhesive to put the fabric onto the pieces. So I'm just showing that here with one of the armrests. And since these were office chairs, they were a little low. So I'm just spraying this bottom piece and I'm taking this big piece of cushion and I'm adding that to give it a little bit of height and some thickness. This cushion came from an old couch that I took apart and reused some of the stuff inside. And I did have enough of this cushion for all six chairs, which was perfect. And definitely not part of my original plan, but it worked out perfectly. And of course I'm spraying it down on all the sides and I'm just going to attach it underneath once this is all set with the glue. And I'll be using just um, a simple staple gun to close up the bottom. So I did that for all the pieces. And then I cut off the excess fabric and some of the places I did have to use a little bit of glue just to close it up. Um, especially on these little arm pieces and this is how everything looked once they were covered and then I'm just showing here how I'm putting all the pieces back into the chair this needed to um, be hit with a little mallet because there was some resistance because of the thickness of the fabric and then for the ends that were sticking out I used a flathead screwdriver as well as the sharp end of these scissors Um, slid it down and tuck those little extra pieces in and then adding the arm pieces back in here and as I mentioned earlier in the video I made these chairs to match the dining room table which I recently updated so if you want to see that transformation I'll leave a link to that video in the description box as well as right up here and now the last piece is the seat part and just slid that into place and made sure it was firmly in. And then I'm just going back and putting the screws back in. This is the final result of the six chairs all done. So some of these have already been used 
for a while and then I just finished up that last one not too long ago but I've tried to clean them up and um, I plan to scotch guard them but I never did so I'm just hoping that they stay looking pretty good and they've held up nicely so far so this is just a quick look at how they used to look and then again how they look now so I thank you so so much for watching I'll see you in the next one.